G'day scientists, today we're having a Halloween special, hence the outfit. I'm sorry, I know it's not Halloween anymore, but I got sick from COVID and had to take some time off and I'd already bought the pumpkin, so I figure, oh, I can't really leave this one till next year. So I'm doing this video now anyway, who cares? If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. And this kit came from KiwiCo and it only cost me $13. So it looks like really good value for money. Obviously it doesn't come with a pumpkin and the pumpkin was significantly more than $13. However, it looks pretty cool. I'm using a really cool technique for carving in the pumpkin, which I'm gonna show you that always produces spectacular results, even though you don't have any artistic skill whatsoever, which is me. I've only ever done this once before. This is what it looked like then. I think you agree, the, <laughs> the results are amazing for a carved pumpkin. You simply type in pumpkin template into Google, go to Google Images, and you get a whole pile of outlines you can use to carve onto your pumpkin. Then you just pick the one you want, print it out onto A4 paper, and next, I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. Before we get started though, let's take a look at what's inside this kit. Right on the outside, you can see it's making yourself a puking, puke, <laughs> make it yourself. It's a puking pumpkin science kit. And it looks like you carve your pumpkin and then it's gonna vomit, um, which is just awesome. I'm loving this already. I think it's gonna be really cool. Hopefully it doesn't stay in this beautiful white table, but we will find out. On the back, you can see it's got everything you need. It's, but this is a bit of a cheek, I think, because it says includes everything you need. But there's no pumpkin. There's no pumpkin carving. There's no cool pumpkin templates, which I'm gonna show you how they work. But we do have baking soda, citric acid, foaming gel, funnels, some food dye, some scoops, um, and some kind of flask, which I guess is for mixing this together inside the puking pumpkin science book. This is a lot smaller than the other KiwiCo Tinker crates I've looked at, but to be honest, it's a cheaper kit. And what else can you say about a puking pumpkin? Even so, it still has quite good educational content. There's a whole section here on pumpkins and how they're grown. And the fact that you can eat almost all of it, and the instructions are actually really nicely laid out too. Okay, not much else to it. Here are the colors and the scoop. You know my feelings on single-use plastic. These are um, plastic items and you could say they're single use, but the quality of the plastic is amazing. This thing is quite stiff. It's good quality plastic and the plastic flask, you could definitely reuse again. I will be reusing these, so we'll definitely get use. I don't regard these as single use. Foaming gel, citric acid, baking soda, and another scoop. There is so much in here. I've got a feeling you could make more than one. Right, I've also got some of my own pumpkin carving tools here that I've got from a previous pumpkin kit. And this one here is the secret to making the template look good. First, I'm gonna use this sharp knife I got from the kitchen rather than the pumpkin tool kit to cut into the pumpkin and cut all the way around. And the last piece here is always a bit wobbly. All right, let's open it up and take a look inside the pumpkin. Oh, uh, it's always like some kind of crazy Halloween experiment. I love the smell of pumpkin though, and I'm gonna give this a wash down afterwards and reuse the pumpkin to make some food so none of it goes to waste. You can actually dry these seeds out as well and eat them, or you can plant them and grow your own pumpkins. I've got this tool here for scraping pumpkins. Just gonna give the top a scrape. Oh, this has got an amazing sound. Can you hear it? You ASMR freaks are loving it. Oh, this has got a total spaghetti squash look to it. Um, in Australia, the, all the gourds are called pumpkin, regardless of what kind of pumpkin they are. But this one has strands like a spaghetti squash. Right, I think I've tidied up the lid enough. There we go. A minimal mess. Minimal mess so far. Now we're going to go inside the pumpkin and carve out the insides with this pumpkin tool. So make sure we get all of the inside. Yeah, pulling the guts out of this pumpkin. <laughs> okay, this next step of making the pumpkin is not in the instructions, it's my little added bonus for you. We're gonna tip the pumpkin on its side like that. And then we're gonna position the template onto the pumpkin where we wanna basically carve it. So we wanna make sure that 
the top is near the top and the bottom is near the bottom. So, first of all, let's stick down one side with some tape. Get some tape and then like stick it down here. This is just temporary while we're doing the carving. And then make sure the eyes still within there and then stick down the other side like that and then along the bottom as well. Okay, so now we've got this on here and we need to take the little punching tool and just punch, 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 punch around the edges of the template. And this will give us an eye guide of where to cut when we're finished. All right, that's the smile punch. Now we're gonna do the nose. And the eyes next. And you can do this super rough. It doesn't have to be precise to the template. I hope. It's also worth telling you guys that in Australia, it's <laughs> the height of spring, soon gonna be summer. It's getting quite hot in here with this physical exertion of punching into a pumpkin. All right, coming up to the last part of the eye and then we can remove the template and you can kind of start to get a feel of what this pumpkin is going to look like. Okay, I finished punching. Now time to remove the template and get a quick look at what it looks like. Ah, now you can see we've transferred the template onto the pumpkin and it looks pretty good. Next stage is to go around with a knife and punch out the parts. carving it um, and all the little spaghetti bits inside make it look a little bit sinister. Here's the finished carved pumpkin. Now we're going to follow the instructions in the Kiwico kit to basically make my pumpkin puke. Put it into a deep dish so it doesn't get messy. Guess what guys I'm not going to do that. We're going to let the mess happen and see how bad it is. Drop three scoops of baking soda into the pumpkin and spread it around. All right let's just... one. two, and three. Then get the white scoop and pour one scoop of foaming gel into the pumpkin. One of these. Ooh. And then we're gonna pick a color. All right, we're gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna go for purple, because I always think purple and orange are a great color combination. All right, so in here, to make purple, we mix red and blue. I love this about the Kiwi Cake kit. It's not just about pumpkins and carving and puking. They've even got a little bit of a color. I'm worried now. Oh, oh I'm going to bed. <laughs> and then the same with the blue. We're doing the blue. And then mix the baking soda, gel and color. All right, this blue, super, super blue. I've messed it up already. <laughs> I never ever read the instructions properly. I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but basically we're supposed to put one color in there and then one color in here, and then we mix them together. It's of course gonna make purple, which would be part of the magic of mixing one color in and getting a different color out. This one, we're gonna put um, a plain color in and we're gonna get purple out. It's the same thing. Stop complaining, it's gonna be the same experiment. Okay, so this we take one scoop of citric acid, pop it in the top, then fill this with water. Okay, it's dissolved now. Now, the fun part, we're going to take the lid off this, pour it into here, and watch the pumpkin puke. And it says to do it slowly, I am just gonna dump the entire thing in. Whoa, here comes the puking! It's more of a dribble. Whoa, that is disgusting. The gunk is pouring out of the puking pumpkin's face. He's puking onto my table. Is it very purple? It's a little hint of purple, but not a big purple. And it's more of a drool than anything else. Let's add in some more citric acid. 
He's definitely puking now. It's more like a continuous drool, like if you had one of those slobbery dogs and it's just like drooling continuously, but it's still a pretty cool effect and you can still reuse this as a regular pumpkin afterwards. You could just give it a rinse out and reuse the pumpkin to put a candle in. I really love making this kit. It was a fun thing to do as an alternative to just sticking a candle into a pumpkin. And I hope you loved my little pumpkin carving trick hack technique. Um, you also learn a little tiny bit about science. They teach you about pumpkins, how they grow, and how you can reuse almost every single part of a pumpkin. They also teach you a bit of color mixing and chemical reactions between citric acid and baking soda. It was also incredibly good value for money, only $13, which I think is legitimate because most of the ingredients and the things inside are actually fairly cheap to come by. Would I buy this kit again? Let's find out. I am gonna give the KiwiCo Puking Pumpkin Kit three stars for fun, two stars for learning and three stars for cost. Bye or bye bye. It is 100% a bye. Really recommend making this. If you haven't seen reviews of my other KiwiCo kits, check out this playlist where I show you the deal and how much I love KiwiCo. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe. And if you like the KiwiCo kits, please use my affiliate link to purchase a subscription to KiwiCo. It really helps our channel grow. See you next time.